everybody. I know many of you guys who subscribe to the channel may be wondering about this bike. Yep, the GMC and Alley Road bike. Maybe wondering how it's doing. Well, here's the thing. Since like October, I have been so busy with moving in. Well, since the summer of last year, to be honest, I have been so busy with moving in, fixing up things, and just hadn't really had the time to ride. 2016 was was a year that really sucked in regards to um, bike riding. I, I never really got the chance to do it a whole lot. And I'm hoping 2017 will be a whole lot better. Um, see, 2015 wasn't all that great either. And I'll tell you, it's, it sort of has taken a toll on me as well. <clears throat> Especially after riding that fat bike, that heavy mongoose fat bike. I was extremely wore out by the time I got back. And when you get off a bike for a while, it really, you, you start to notice that for a while. But anyways, the, um, the Nolly Road bike is doing pretty well. Um, it has, I hope this battery has not gone dead. Here we go. 5372.8 miles on it. Um, that's sort of approximate. <clears throat> for the select few times I forgot to turn the, um, <laughs> Spin on her own way, took off to go ride. So in reality, it probably has a little bit more miles on it. And this is, if this is your first time seeing this bike, this is not a stock Denali. Nowhere near it. Um, night and day difference between the ones that you will find on the racks at your local Walmart. I've had this bike since early 2011, and I have upgraded the wheel set, the handlebars, the crank set, the derailers, the shifters. Yeah, no more radio shifts on this thing. Among other things. And overall, the cost of it hasn't really been too much. Um, considering the wheel set was a gift to me. And the SCI levers and rear derailleur. I bought on eBay for like $75, $80 for the whole set. And, you know, I have not, I, this thing has not really cost me a whole lot to upgrade. <clears throat> it does need to be washed, that's for sure. It does need a wash. The most recent thing I've done to this bike was I, I serviced the headset. And one thing I can't stand about these bikes, and pretty much the vast majority of your bikes you'll get from Walmart, are um, the fact that they use your old-fashioned threaded headsets. They use a coil stem rather than a threadless design. For example, that Mongoose fat bike has a thread has a um, threadless headset on it, and it'd be a whole lot easier to service that than service this. Yeah, this is a royal pain to service, but everything inside looked totally fine. Um, I had never serviced it before, and there was still a decent amount of, of grease on the bearings. Nothing seemed worn or anything like that, despite this thing having 5,000 miles on it. Which, to many cyclists, 5,000 miles is like something you'll rack up in a year, but you got to understand, <laughs> many people who have these things... Probably never ride more than 2,000 miles on them. Because let me tell you, um, in stock form, they will need, they will definitely need lots of upkeep. Um, usually the first thing to fail you will be the um, stock bottom bracket. Those usually go out at about 1,700 miles to 2,000 miles. They'll be so worn out and you have lots of play in the um, in your crank set. But it's a simple, a simple Shimano BB-UN55 sealed cartridge bottom bracket will fix that. And then this one's been on there for over 3,000 miles, and it still turns like it's brand new. And, of course, you can definitely tell this thing, again, needs to be washed. <clears throat> and with the upgraded cranks, that you get better gearing. Um, at least in this case, I did. Let's see. I think this bike is um, 20... 3848 on the gearing on the stock crank set. And on back it's 28 to 14. 
this one is geared 28 to 11 on the back and 32, 42, 52 up front. And changing this out from stock was a really nice upgrade on its own because the Denali is infamous for being geared like a mountain bike. <clears throat> but yeah, it's been, it's done its job. It's definitely not your kind of like a road bikes. And a lot of people like to make fun of these bikes. Yeah, these these Denali's they get they get a lot of flack online for you know for not being all that good of quality. But then again, it is a hundred sixty hundred seventy dollar road bike. You're not going to expect a whole lot out of a stock one. But this one, I mean, these Denali's. The 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 nice thing about the Denali's is if somebody says wanting a cheap road bike to get out and ride, I mean. You you can't ask for a more decent bike for the price point. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things about a stock Denali that I don't like after I've upgraded this one over time. I still have a stock Denali. It's out in the shed. It's a 2006. Um, <clears throat> an interesting story about that one was the wheel set locked up. The rear hub seized up after 4,000 miles. And I went to Walmart that same day and picked up this one. Because I just want to keep riding, and I want to actually have two bikes. <clears throat> so what's going to go on with the stock bike? I, the bike out in the shed, I'm not exactly sure yet. I hope to fix it someday, but on the kind of budget I'm on right now, I can't spend a whole lot of money on bike upgrades right now. <clears throat> bike still has the stock brakes, which are, eh, they're okay. They're better once you replace the pads. The stock pads wear out in no time. These pads from Dick's Sporting Goods have been on here since 2012 when I put the wheel set on. And they have, they do have some wear on them, but they still stop perfectly fine. And of course, I have two seat bags, which I carry a little money, um, an ID, and batteries for my flashlight. And up here in the back, I have tire lever, um, two, yeah, tire levers. A CO2 inflator and a spare tube. And of course I have this bottle cage on the back. So I could I could carry up to three bottles if I wished. I normally carry just one in the back and one up front. Now as for weight, um I think this bike actually weighs in at about twenty six pounds or so. If I was to strip all the accessories off like the bags, the back bottle cage and such, I think that would probably make it at about 25, 26 pounds. And, I mean, that's still a pretty big weight for a road bike, but <laughs> it's definitely better than what these things weigh when they're stock. Um, changing out the bars makes a huge difference because the stock ones are still... This one's out of It only cost me $12, by the way, when I bought it new. And of course, the crank set also makes a difference as well. That and that one there is also alloy, not steel. <clears throat> this thing has a lot of steel on it, but under other than the frame. <laughs> now, for some of you guys who are like, ah, $160 road bike, that frame's got to be a piece of crap. It's probably going to break the first time you ride it. Well, let me put it this way. The year I installed this wheel set, it was 2012, Late 2012, they had just repaid the road in the area that I commonly ride. And when they paid the road, they had they had just redone, resurfaced a few areas where there were a, a couple of manholes. Basically, you have, let's just look here for example. Let's just say this is your manhole. And, and when, they, when they paved the road, they cut a, a square around the manhole. So you got a gap between the asphalt and the manhole. And they fill it in with some sort of like a concrete material. Well, they done it and then a big piece um, popped out. So, it was a huge freaking hole. And I kid you not, it's like, here is the road edge, here's the drop. Well, actually, like, here's the road edge, here's the drop, and here is the ledge of the manhole. I hit it dead on. It was act it was actually at night. Um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't looking down at the road. And then, bam, hit it, instantly blew up both tires. And my, my hand was sore. I thought I had broke something in my hand at first, but 
yeah, that was the that was the absolute biggest thing this bike has ever faced. Um, the wheel set fared just fine. Didn't even bend the wheel set or anything. Um, the fork is okay, which fork is steel. Um, the frame itself is okay. It was okay as well. It didn't even didn't even harm it. And I tell you, there's some some roads in this area. When I first got this bike, a lot of roads in this area were in pretty crappy shape. Um, it was around 2012 to 2013 that a lot of roads in this area got repaved. So, in this bike's earlier days, there were a lot of roads in this area that were in pretty bad shape with potholes and things like that. Um, not necessarily good things for a bike like this. But this thing, after over 5,000 miles, you know, same frame and fork, it has handled it very well. I have to say, um, the Denali does have a strong point there. It does have a decently strong frame. Anyways, that is my 2010 Denali road bike with over 5,000 miles on it. And with the way the weather is looking, like the mildest February I can remember, um, I'll probably be back into riding here pretty soon. I hope to be. So anyways, for you guys who are interested in this bike, that is an update on it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.